All right. Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Mi DTX uh, tripod along with your uh, telescope. So uh, first off we're going to want to set up our mount properly and the way that we're going to do that is uh, you're going to want to get the mount to the level that you want it. So uh, here I normally like to have it a little above my waist level. Uh, so that it's easy to see. Um, so, uh, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up our uh, compass app, or if you have a normal compass, you'll want to bring that. Uh, it's pretty typical to have a compass on your phone, though. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to place it so that the the back of the phone and the front of the phone are uh, aligned with the latitude leg and the front tripod leg. Uh, we're going to want the front tripod leg to be facing north. So we're going to adjust this just a little bit. We're actually pretty close. Uh, and we're going to get that on zero degrees. Uh, next what we're going to do is, well, we've already got it set up, but uh, you're going to want to move your legs around uh, so that you can get it in the right position in terms of leveling it. Uh, so now that you've got it set up, uh, your front leg that's opposite of your latitude rod is facing north and everything is level. Uh, if you have the RA version of this telescope, uh, all you're going to want to do is uh, on the bottom of your telescope it's not on this but on the bottom there should be a little switch for the on and off uh, if you're in the northern hemisphere make sure that the button beside that is uh, flicked on to the north if not to the south um, and you're going to want to have the uh, your button should be your button side should be on the south side uh, of your mount. So now if you have the EC version, which is what I have with me here, uh, what you're going to do will take a little bit uh, more time. And also if you have the RA mount, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and after you've uh, mounted your telescope, screwed it in and uh, turned on, the uh, the rotation device. Uh, you're going to want to set your latitude. So right now I'm at a latitude of around 35. Uh, so I would set it around here and then tighten it back up. Uh, and then you'll be able to follow the night sky. Uh, so back to the EC. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the high latitude leg right here and we're going to place that uh, where the latitude bar is. So we're going to want it on that side. Uh, so we're going to line that up. And normally I uh, suggest that you do this before night just because uh, it gets a little bit harder to see uh, and set up. So we're going to tighten this a little bit, not all the way, we have to do the other side too. And get the other side, now we can tighten these up at the same time. Um, so now that we have that tightened up, what we're going to want to do is, uh, down here as you can see there's this little switch. So we're going to loosen that switch so that we can freely rotate it. Uh, and we're going to also loosen this switch right here so that we can freely rotate the uh, tube. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it counterclockwise uh, until we hit a hard stop at this point. Uh, if you have one of the newer versions, you might not run into this hard stop and you won't have to worry about uh, this. Uh, but we're going to set in the home position now. 
which is uh, level at the ground, so it looks about level, uh, and facing right above our uh, north facing tripod leg. Uh, we're going to tighten everything back down, so the side here and the bottom here. And now we are going to pick up our auto audio star auto star controller. Uh, we're going to turn on our ETX. We're going to plug it into the hand box and we'll hear that little beep for the audio star. Uh, now what we're going to do, we'll press zero to align. Today's the 15th and we've got about 513. Press enter once we have around the right time. Uh, stay light savings, yes. And we're using Compass North because uh, I find that easiest. Now we want to put in the home position, which we already have, uh, level at the ground and facing uh, Compass North. We're going to press enter because we have that all set up. And now the telescope will start slewing to uh, one of the brightest stars to start alignment. Alright, so now we have the beep, uh, and we know that we're ready to try to get it exactly lined up in our sight. Uh, obviously, if you're observing, make sure that your uh, top lens cap is off, or else you're not going to be able to see anything. Um, so we're going to want that off. Also, make sure that your mirror is flipped up the right way. So, back here you can see that uh, this part uh, right here of the mirror is flipped up and ready to go. And then we'll take out one of our uh, lower magnification uh, eyepieces. So I like to start out with the standard 26 millimeter eyepiece and we'll place that in here. We'll make sure that it's aligned with the brightest star in the sky. It should be pretty obvious, uh, but if you need to, a uh, good app to have on the iTunes store is uh, Skywalk. Uh, and I'll leave a link for that in the description. Uh, so now that we've got it all aligned on our first star, we'll press enter again to repeat the same process and it'll go to the second star and in this case it'll be Capella alright so now we've got it on Capella of course you'd use the, uh, these four arrows to center your star uh, how you want it or so that's in the middle of your eyepiece view uh, and after that, you'll just press enter and you'll be done with your alignment. So your alignment is successful. Uh, and you should be able to hear a little whirring noise in the background, uh, which will just be your telescope keeping up with the Earth's rotation, which is exactly what you wanted. Uh, and then from there, you should be able to uh, go to mode and you'll be able to select any item that you want. So. For example, if I wanted to go to Mercury, uh, you just press go to and it would uh, go to that object for you. So now it says that we're on Mercury uh, and we've successfully aligned our Mi telescope and set it up just how we want to. Uh, please subscribe if you found this video helpful and I'll be coming out with more soon and like this video if you found it helpful too. Thanks for watching.